Well, this is for a um, slider, and I've been watching what you've been doing and uh, reading everything on the forum about how your project has been progressing. You've done great, and I'll give a link to uh, your latest video, and then uh, try to describe uh, what's going on here based on what you've done. Is I've got an energy harvester that is this circuit here which uh, I actually built a number of years ago and I don't remember who the person was that posted it but I never got it to work and I didn't have the right diodes and uh, the whole thing just didn't work for me but um, this worked the way you showed it using a fluorescent CFL uh, and a um, pickup off the CFL and then that circuit and it runs these uh, very efficient uh, low microamp motors. There's the voltage that that's holding right there. And it's in the um, tens of, of microamps. It's not low, low. It's, it's uh, not in the hundreds. It's in the tens. But uh, it's running that uh, easy spin. Laser, <coughs> Laser Saber's easy spin is running off of that. And what it is is it's... Uh, germanium diodes and you have to have germanium diodes really to make this work and then you have these little ceramic capacitors that are a 0.1 to 0.2 UF ceramic caps you have an antenna I just used a piece of tin foil right up next to the CFL bulb and then at the bottom here you've got electrolytic caps that are um, 100 UF 50 volt electrolytic capacitors you put a ground here in the middle, which is this piece of aluminum. Now, um, a slayer is using, uh, or a slider is using a, a, a heat sink, a aluminum heat sink. That's just a chunk of aluminum. If you had a real ground, this would work better, earth ground. But then you come out with DC. So you come in here with an RF AC signal. It gets rectified and, and it accumulated and accumulated and comes out usable electricity in a DC form and that's it right there and that's what I've got coming on right there usable DC voltage if you have something that can use it now the blocking oscillators the LED uh, devices work off just quite nicely and uh, this little um, highly efficient um, laser saber easy spin uh, also my frog hair motor works off of it great too but uh, if you add better ground right here by touching this watch what happens to the voltage when I touch this here you get a, a bounce so if, if you have a better ground right here uh, you'll enhance the whole situation but this is something else I discovered um, see that thing right there? That's my little mini Tesla coil, which is really a Slayer exciter. Watch what happens when I turn that thing on. There goes the motor revving up. And that's the uh, enhancement using this uh, Slayer Exciter. And it picks that up and enhances the signal uh, using it this way. Now let me show you what's going on in here. That's just a piece of tin foil, <coughs> aluminum foil, laying up against the CFL bulb. I'll turn it off. And what it is, it's a CFL bulb that that tin foil lays up against and uh, causes that to work. Now look at this. There's my thing still going with the uh, Slayer Exciter still on. Motor still running. Let's stop it. So people think this is just inertia. And I know um, Laser uh, sabers had a lot of problems with people thinking that the only energy being stored is in that flywheel. 
and uh, now that I have one, I can assure you that it's not flywheel energy that's causing that rotor to move around. That's moving around on electrical energy. Yes, energy is being stored in the flywheel, but the motivation force on that is electrical energy. In this case, it's coming from a Slayer exciter wirelessly over to this antenna, picking it up on that circuit and causing that rotor to move with this circuit that I've shown before. So anyway, that's the uh, latest on my little experiment and uh, I think um, slider for doing that because it, it was an amazing uh, amazing experiment and that's an RF energy harvester circuit. This will not work with an incandescent bulb nor an LED bulb. It has to be a CFL because of the circuit in the bulb it causes that uh, RF signal to come out and get picked up by that circuit and then converted to a DC signal which runs that motor. Thanks for watching.